turn up on the platform. This is a special and somewhat melancholy okay. toss between Come our show over, and the friend. one that's right right here. here. Because right our here. dear friend Wilfred Frost is leaving. With me, all roads lead to one place, and that is Hamilton. So I think of two songs. One is called One Last Time. Uh, it's where uh, George Washington is, con is writing his farewell address. And the other one, sung by King George, a foppish King George, is You'll Be Back. Wilf, we hope you will be. Godspeed, Will. Absolutely. <laughs> we miss you already. I, I will certainly be back in, in all sorts of, uh, of ways. And guys, thank you so much. It's and been now, just such live a live from New York, <laughs> it's the closing bell. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Uh, it certainly is the closing bell. Welcome to it. I'm Wilfred Frost at the New York Stock Exchange for one last time. In Tyler's words, stocks are rallying in the last hour. The S&P now in the green. Yeah, they've turned higher mm -hmm. on, your, on your exit. I'm Sarah Eisen. Let's look at what is driving the action right now in this final hour. Fed minutes from the last meeting. Relief last hour show Fed officials ready to begin raising interest rates as expected. Retail sales up 3.8% in January, almost double what was expected. And buzzy growth stocks like Roblox and Shopify getting hit pretty hard on the back of disappointing earnings. We have a big show coming up. As always, Mohamed el Arian gives us his take on the market and if the Fed needs to act quicker to combat inflation. Plus, Carnival CEO Arnold Donald will weigh in on the CDC's new guidance for the cruise industry. And we're gearing up for a big hour of earnings with Cisco, TripAdvisor, DoorDash and NVIDIA all set to report. We'll break down those numbers and have analysis as soon as they cross. To give a, a great present to a friend. It's loaded, <laughs> it's loaded and ready. It's got a Roblox 10 gift. bucks of Roblox on it. So, so you 10, can knock yourself out. 10 to 100. Well, no, no. You've got the low end of the scale? Well, I, you know, never the, the, dollar, the dollar got stronger the other day. <laughs> Roblox, no, I, I, right? Ro we great professionals. You don't mean to slight. And that when I am in London with you, it is one of the, let's enjoy it with you in New York, but you and, and your betrothed, uh, it just the greatest. And I want people to know, this man, is a phenomenal, kind, and most importantly, so humble that I need to stress humility because I think there are a lot of people like, well, my wife first saw says, James Bond. I said, no, he doesn't carry himself like Bond at all, man. Well, Not like a Bond villain either. But. And I, Daniel Craig, by the way, is a foot and a half shorter than you. Just keep for the record. I know. I'd be, have more chance of playing Jaws than, than Bond. But, <laughs> Jim, I'm, I'm so grateful for those kind words, but more importantly, your support. From, from day one. Yeah, like you I deserve couldn't, it. Couldn't have done it without you, and, and it's always been a pleasure. You're as, uh, as brilliant as you are, pure joy. And we'll get you to London, an Arsenal game, another NFL oh, game. Absolutely the only team that I root for over in Europe. The, uh, your only soccer team, period. True. You're a big fan. True. Daniel Ek knows this. I, You've quizzed him on right, it. That's right, I quizzed him on it. Made, I was that made, do you know what? That made Sky Sports News live, that interview. And Is it true? Yeah, they uh, carried it live. Our right. sister station. And, and, and as you can we get in with uh, the CFO of Bank of America and perhaps buy a uh, rugby team? A rugby should, team. Let's take a my wife is captain of the rugby team in Trinity. What do you say? But done. I mean, it might be a conflict, but whatever. Can we buy one that, like, is it the low rugby? level? Ooh. Rugby. Rugby's fun. A lot of arms broken. Yeah. That, that's not, that's that, that was that line. We are out of time, Jim. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you soon. As they actually go. I. I haven't. I've I never promised seen myself I wouldn't do this. Uh, <laughs> I said I wouldn't do this, but well, what an actor! This could be your last question to me. So I, mean, I, I uh, have a feeling, d <laughs> despite the despite the elongated answers, I'll squeeze one more question in. All right, there. We'll make this the second to last, my friend. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for inviting me on this special day. Well, it's been an honor to, to work with you. I've had a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. We've talked a lot about the banks, especially. So I, I think I need Josh's tissues before we uh, before the end of this segment. But thank you for everything. Um, <laughs> the, the in terms of the market, yeah, like the segment. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Thank you so much. No. Today and always. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Back to Closing Bell, my final few minutes here, anchoring with my dear friend, Wilfred Frost, who is always looking to tackle the big news stories of the day, never afraid to ask a tough question, and of course, never takes himself too seriously. 
A very warm welcome to Worldwide Exchange. I'm Wilfred Frost. Here are your headlines from around the world. Happy Friday and welcome to Worldwide Exchange on CNBC. I'm Sarah Ivan. And I'm Wilfred Frost. Good morning from Davos, Switzerland. Tensions running high here in Brussels. I'm Wilfred Frost. A very warm welcome to London. Just two days until Britain votes, and I'm joined by five lovely ladies to see how they're going to cast their poll. Are you feeling confident? Well, the only poll that matters is the poll on the day. UK voters have backed an exit from the European Union. That is the most significant political development uh, in my lifetime, perhaps apart from when the Berlin Wall came down. Welcome to the closing bell, everyone. Coming to you live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Wilfred Frost. Major averages poised to turn in their worst week since the financial crisis. The Dow is up 120 points. It was down 1,115 at the low of the session. An extraordinary intraday market turnaround. Should people's equity exposure, particularly to developed markets, should it be zero right now? I think a good number in the US would be zero. One day will you cease to be the critic of, uh, of politics and to step into the arena yourself? <laughs> No, I'm not stepping into the arena. We had a couple of high-profile departures in the last year or so. Did you not pay people enough? Just 46 days uh, after taking the helm. I mean, wow, you, you're not wasting any time. I know, we're not dilly-dallying. We're at uh, Morgan Stanley headquarters with uh, James Gorman. I am indeed in uh, the top of uh, Bank of America Tower, uh, no less, in, in the middle of Manhattan. Mr. Why Stump, are you considering you resigning? Mr. Stump, will you willingly give up your own bonuses? Are you reconsidering your decision to resign? How disappointed were you, Mr. Vice President, that the British decided to grant access to Huawei? Mr. Secretary, thank you for having me. It's a privilege to be with you today. Well, for great to see you again. David, thanks so much for joining us. Great, great. to be with you. No, good to be on the program. I know everyone cares a lot about the dress, but also <laughs> whether we're going to see a beard or not a beard. My bet on this is based purely on one thing. If the Queen has mentioned it, yes. it'll be gone. The Queen exactly has met uh, 11 of the last 12 presidents, uh, from Truman up to Trump it will be today. So we took to Twitter to ask you who you thought would make a better Fed chair out of Sarah at five foot three, me at six foot five. I don't agree with the president. That height matters they for don't. Fed chair. I, I, I'd like to Guess make it all a, comes down to brain power. A few. <laughs> <laughs> Not a race. This is my ultimate dream, no question. I am, no question. I am simply here to just say happy birthday. And it's Thank you. It's great to be here every day with you. Well, it's, it's great for us, and I can't believe we share everything, including a birthday. <laughs> I think my face looks like an ape. Take it off the screen. Oh my God, she does not shut up about foreign exchange. I want to go back to your horse phobia, but I don't think you would stand where he's standing right now if that's... That's a bit too close. I like cake more than I dislike horses, so I'm happy go. to take this with both hands. If I had to actually eat this live on air, there would be widespread criticism. I'm sure I would gag immediately afterwards. Where's the close-up show? Oh, that was uh, A bit bigger, a oh, bit bigger. Bigger mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that Delicious. is why. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to this that it's much, okay. I have to say. I'm going to do it because I've agreed I would. Michael Phelps joins us now on set of Post 9, Usain Bolt. It's such a young age to be a champion, which is the most impressive thing, but, but fairly young to be interested in, in the markets as well. To see it live is incredible. David, on the topic of corporate uh, partners, did you personally want Adidas to be the partner? Well, they're the partner of the league, so I was obviously very, uh, very proud to you know, be part of that. Well, does the future of your industry rest on science and developments like this vaccine? Well, obviously, uh, it, it clearly does depend a great deal on uh, the development of the vaccine. I am not going to dignify that with an answer. You can both f*** off. Time for our New Year's resolutions. M mine's not so much a, a resolution, but a sort of action, which is just to live life to the full, I think, after this uh, challenging year. And, and uh, that includes as much travel as I can possibly do, including trying to get home for the first time a whole year without being in my country. And when I do get there, hopefully no mention of the word Brexit. I guess you fulfilled your New Year's resolution. There we go. Was the, that was the year before. Well, yes, but, okay, so it took two years. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you're, uh, getting, you're going home. And I... Gosh, thank you to the team. That was, it was amazing. great trip down memory lane. Yes, so many funny moments. Of course, we will miss you so much, Wilfred, as you know.
but there are two people in the UK who are very excited to have you back. Take a look. Hi, Wilfred. It's Gab Marcel here. Looking forward to see you back in London. Hope to see you soon at the Emirates. Hi, Wilfred. It's Ben White here from Arsenal. Um, just a welcome back message and hope to see you at the Emirates soon. I mean... I don't know who those people are, but you yeah. do. <laughs> I, I was getting emotional thinking that might be Mum and George, but oh. that, that, that was kind of better. Mum and George, I hope you're not watching. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Mum and George more, but to get a video message, that was epic. Well, Arsenal I, came to us and they said, can, can, can we, the players, No, they did not. That? No, <laughs> no, they did not. We asked them. I would have believed that. But they did. But, but actually, there are, there are two people that you may know that are very excited to have you back as well. I can't believe that you have been in New York for six years. That's where he's been. Oh, George, such a little prankster. And I cannot tell you how proud I've been and how Dad and Miles are looking down on you, feeling exactly the same thing. So I am going to raise a glass to you coming home and I cannot wait to have you and Kaylee married here and living here at weekends. God bless you. Big hug, Mum. And Wilf, uh, London's not the same without you. Uh, we've, we've missed you. London's missed you. All your mates and all our family have missed you. And we just can't wait for you and Kaylee to be back and for us to get up to all sorts of mischief again. Um, and I'm afraid to say USA's loss is most certainly England's get game. We're so proud of you. Lots of love. Big hug. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> I, I, I no, promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't get teary, but that's, that's difficult. But, um, and George... I've managed, never seen him so serious. Managed that without a teleprompter. His joke always to me that I couldn't do it. So he's, he's got more talent than no, me. It was um, taped before you said you'd prefer the Arsenal guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, guys, I mean, it's, it's of course... You know, very, very, very sad um, to be saying goodbye. But when you say goodbye, it does also give the um, the all too rare opportunity to say some thanks as well. And wanted to also focus on the people that you guys at home uh, don't get to see, um, the people behind the scenes. So top of the list is the entire Closing Bell team, led so brilliantly by Lisa um, Villalobos. I, I will miss working with you all so very much. The same applies to Antaroni and the Worldwide Exchange team before that, to Bradley Rubin and his great team here at the floor of the Stock Exchange and your teammates back at headquarters and in the field, to Lacey O'Toole, Mike Newberg, Dawn Gill. I could go on. Just an amazing set of people behind the scenes at CNBC. Also to the bosses, uh, to, to Mark Hoffman, Dan Colarusso, uh, and to Nick Diogan and John Casey before them, because you guys believed in me as a broadcaster before anybody else was, was willing to, and I'll be forever grateful for that. And uh, finally, to, to my on-air on -air colleagues, every single one throughout all hours of the day, in particular to, of course, Mike, the smartest and yet most humble man in existence. <laughs> Um, it's been a it's pleasure, true. Mike, every Same minute. Here, really. um, learned so much. And, of course, to Sarah, I have adored our on-air partnership. I will miss it immensely. Uh, we'll just have to find a way to fire it up again decades, decades down the line or years down the line. And I can't wait to keep watching the show, guys, uh, in the meantime. Dinner time in London. Uh, Kaylee can't wait to, to have that on in the background every night. Um, and then just finally... Uh, to the viewers at home uh, and more broadly to the people of this great nation. Thank you for having me. I, I came <laughs> as a guest and you made me feel like a friend from, from day one. Loved every second. Kaylee and I already can't wait to, to come back and visit. Um, but until then, <laughs> it is goodbye from me. Well, well I, do, I did get you a few things to remind you that you love about New York and that you love about the U.S. I don't, I don't know if you, can, if you can guess, but I just I want to give you a few things. So <laughs> this is a big disagreement for us, but Wilfred it's the best. adores Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Don't ask me why. <laughs> so I got you a few... A few Advertising um, laws are tighter in the U.K., so I've got to get this in whilst, whilst I'm allowed. Wilfred Six absolutely seven. loves The Phantom of the Opera, which we saw together in New York. I mean, it's the best. You've done it how many times? I've seen it probably 12 times now, but it's, 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 I mean, saw Andrew Lloyd Webber DJing at a block party recently as well, so that's, 
really amazing. Can you guess any of the other American brands that I got yet? Not sure. What do we got there? A nice gap. Gap sweatshirt. <laughs> Wilfred loves the gap. I do indeed. Thank you very much. And before jeans, we finish up, Wilf, this five. is instant credibility for you two over there. So, <laughs> so we've got... Oh, both, but both yes, baseball. Absolutely. We've got we also, you've also got a lot of swag from the New York Stock Exchange, who loves you very much and um, was happy to provide vests and sweaters and all sorts of things. We, and then the, the Campbell Soup spoons, because for some reason I always think of you it's loving soup. Campbell Soup. It's good soup. The president knows it. We are. I know we're we out of time you. here. Thank you again, best you teammates don't have in to the get world. To do this with a close well, best, best team behind the behind the scenes. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks always for tuning in to Closing Bell. Make sure you continue every single day with this great team. Olympics coverage picks up next.